Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be Luke chapter 1. Let's get started now. Luke chapter 1 is a fascinating and important chapter in the Bible, containing a wealth of information and teaching that can be applied to our daily lives. At the beginning of the chapter, we are introduced to a man named Zechariah, who was a priest in the temple of the Lord. Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth had been unable to have children, and they were both advanced in years. One day, while Zechariah was performing his duties in the temple, an angel of the Lord appeared to him and told him that his wife Elizabeth would bear a son, and that they were to name him John. The angel also told Zechariah that John would be filled with the Holy Spirit from before he was born, and that he would be a great prophet who would prepare the way for the Lord. Zechariah was skeptical of this message, and he questioned the angel, saying, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. Because of his disbelief, the angel struck Zechariah mute until the day that his son was born. Elizabeth did indeed conceive, and she remained in seclusion for five months. In the sixth month of her pregnancy, the same angel who had appeared to Zechariah appeared to Mary, a young woman who lived in Nazareth. The angel told Mary that she had been chosen by God to bear a son, and that she was to name him Jesus. The angel also told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was also pregnant, and that nothing was impossible with God. Mary traveled to see Elizabeth, and when she arrived, Elizabeth felt the baby in her womb leap for joy. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. Mary responded with what has become known as the Magnificat, a beautiful song of praise to God that begins, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. After Elizabeth gave birth to her son, Zechariah's speech was restored, and he prophesied about his son's future. He said that John would be a prophet of the Most High, who would go before the Lord to prepare the way for him. Zechariah also prophesied that through the mercy of God, the rising sun would come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the path of peace. The teachings and applications of Luke chapter 1 are many and varied. Firstly, we can see that God is sovereign and powerful, and that nothing is impossible with Him. He can bring about miracles and fulfill His promises, even in situations where it seems unlikely or impossible. This is demonstrated through the births of John and Jesus, which were both miraculous and unexpected. Secondly, we can see that God uses ordinary people to accomplish His purposes. Zechariah and Elizabeth were both elderly and childless. Yet God chose them to be the parents of John, who would prepare the way for the Lord. Mary was a young woman from a humble background, yet God chose her to bear his son. This shows us that God can use anyone, regardless of their age, social status, or circumstances, to accomplish his will. Thirdly, we can see that God's plan is to bring salvation to all people. John's mission was to prepare the way for Jesus, who would bring salvation to the world. Zechariah's prophecy about the rising sun coming to guide our feet into the path of peace is a reference to Jesus, who is the light of the world and who brings us the peace that surpasses all understanding. Finally, we can see that God's mercy and grace are evident throughout Luke chapter 1. Zechariah, Elizabeth, and Mary were all recipients of God's grace, as he chose them to play important roles in his plan of salvation. Even though they were all ordinary people with their own struggles and limitations, God saw fit to use them in extraordinary ways. Furthermore, we can see that faith is an important theme in Luke chapter 1. Zechariah's initial skepticism and doubt caused him to be struck mute, but he eventually came to believe in God's promises and prophesied about his son's future. Mary also demonstrated great faith when she accepted the angel's message and submitted herself to God's will. Her beautiful song of praise, the Magnificat, is a testament to her faith in God's mercy and justice. In terms of day-to-day -day applications, Luke chapter 1 teaches us to trust in God's promises and to have faith in His plan for our lives. Like Zechariah and Mary, we may sometimes struggle to believe in God's promises, especially when they seem unlikely or impossible. 
However, we can take comfort in the fact that God is always faithful, and that he will fulfill his promises in his own time, and in his own way. In conclusion, Luke chapter 1 is a rich and inspiring chapter of the Bible that contains many important teachings and applications for our daily lives. It reminds us of God's power, his mercy and grace, and his plan of salvation for all people. It also challenges us to have faith, to be humble, and to trust in God's promises. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible verse below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back, here for our next video. Always take good care.